Hey guys, it's Sagar and in this video, I am going to give you guys my initial impressions about this Nothing Phone 2A. Now, this is not my full review. That one will be coming up later when I've used this phone for at least a couple of weeks. In this one, I just wanted to share my initial impressions after unboxing it and using it for a day or two. This is actually the first time I have purchased a Nothing Phone to cover it on the channel. I did make a few videos about their first phone, but I had borrowed it from one of my friends. Now, let us go ahead and see what all do we get inside this box. The box of this phone is pretty slim and light, which even before opening tells us that you don't get a charging brick with this phone. This is not new for nothing as they don't bundle a charger in the box even with their flagship phones, but people buying a smartphone in this price range definitely expect to get a good quality fast charging power brick inside this box. This might be one of the cost cutting measures that they seem to have taken to keep the price of this phone down. Oh, while we are at the price, I needed to clear something out. This is not a sub 20,000 rupees smartphone. That is just a marketing gimmick on nothing and Flipkart's part. The base variant of this phone starts at 23,99 rupees and not 19,99 even for the first sale as you might have seen being advertised everywhere. It is 23,99 minus the 2,000 rupees card offer which I honestly don't think everyone uses. On top of that, they have also included the exchange bonus as a discount and that is how they are bringing the price down to 19,99 which is misleading. I have even seen some reviews saying that it is a 20,000 rupees phone and considering that price, everything is justified. Please don't fall for it. This is a 24,000 rupees smartphone and I am going to be judging it based on that price. Now coming back to the unboxing. Next inside the main box is another box. This one gets a very nice embossed design of the phone's back on its lid and I really love how it looks. The outside box might not be all that good, but this attention to detail is noteworthy. Inside this second box, we have the phone itself. If you guys didn't catch it yet, I went with the white colored phone as I feel it looks much better than the black one. It also gets white plastic frame and black buttons which I again think looks great. There is apparently a milk colored option as well which for some reason nothing did not bring to India. This is how the milk and white colored phone 2A look next to each other. Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments. Then there is this very cool looking USB cable for charging your phone with a type C port at both the ends. And finally we have some paperwork and this unique looking SIM tray ejection pin. That's it. No power brick and not even a case. The SIM tray gets a dual SIM card slot and there is no micro SD card slot so you can't expand the storage of this phone down the line. I have seen many people ask about this in the comments of other videos so now you know that there is no expandable storage on this phone. This phone 2A looks really unique and there is just no way around it. I don't think that there is any other phone in this price range which will get you noticed instantly or attract as many eyeballs towards you. Now you will have to decide if this is a good thing or bad. I have seen a lot of videos before ordering my 2A and all of them showed the black phone because apparently nothing sent out that one to all of the reviewers. I think that was a big mistake. They should have sent out the white one as it looks a lot better and shows off the different layers inside the back in a much better way. It also doesn't look as bad when you have a ton of fingerprints or smudges on its back. Speaking of the back of this phone, it is made out of plastic and not glass. Which is a bit surprising because most of the other competing phones in and around this price point come with a glass back. I've also heard many people say in their videos that this phone feels very premium and I don't agree with that at all. Yes, it looks different and that makes it stand out. But the plastic back and the hard plastic frame around doesn't make it feel premium in the hand at all. The overall in-hand fit of the phone is good, it just doesn't feel premium. The frame is made of hard plastic and the buttons seem to be made out of metal which if true is a nice touch. I like these black buttons on the white frame. It reminds me of the panda look from the Google Pixel 2 which I really loved back when it came out. It has a huge 6.7 inch display so it's a massive device but it is not too thick or bulky. When I first heard that nothing is going to make a budget smartphone, for some reason I was hoping that they are going to make it a bit smaller, say something like 6.1 or 6.3 inches. But this phone is just as big as any of the other Android smartphones in the market right now. You get the signature Glyph interface lights on the back of this phone. It is much smaller compared to nothing's other phones but I think it still looks good and many people love these as they can make these lights dance around. I'm not sure how useful this is going to be for me because I never place my phone facing down on any surface. But I'm glad that nothing is sticking to the basics and not moving away from their original design language just because this phone 2A is more affordable. Before we get to the display, I would like to attract your attention to this one thing which is written on the back of this phone's box. It says India SIM only. I really don't know why that is. When you're setting this phone up, you will need to put in a valid working Indian SIM card or it won't even let you get past this screen which I feel is an unnecessary step. If any of you know the reason for this, please let me know in the comments. This 6.7 inch AMOLED display looks really good. It gets variable refresh rate so it can go down to 30Hz or ramp up to 120Hz depending on what you are doing on the screen. It is bright enough for indoor lighting conditions and while it is not the brightest, it still fares pretty well in outdoor light as well. I am loving how tiny and even these bezels are. 
These are definitely the smallest bezels on any of the nothing phones yet. And honestly, I don't know of any other phone in this price range or even above it which is giving us symmetrical thin bezels all around. This display is protected by Gorilla Glass 5 which is getting older and older by today's standards. But it does seem like the preferred popular protection choice for almost all of the manufacturers in this price range. If any of you are wondering, then yes, there is a very thin film screen protector pre-applied on the display. I don't know how well it will hold up, but it is there. I haven't got a lot of time to consume content on this phone, so I am going to reserve my thoughts about this display for the full review. We get an optical fingerprint sensor under the display and I think it does a decent job. It is not the fastest, but it gets the job done. I just feel like it should have been placed a bit higher as right now it sits pretty close to the bottom bezel so I have to stretch my thumb every time I need to get to it. This phone is powered by MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro chipset. You get to choose between 8 or 12 GB of RAM and 128 or 256 GB of internal storage. Nothing doesn't mention anything else about the RAM and storage. But now we know that this is LPDDR4X RAM and UFS 2.2 storage. I'm not happy with this hardware but I'm not going to judge this phone's performance just based on its specs. I know even mediocre hardware can deliver good performance if the software optimization is done well. So for the next few days and weeks, I'm going to use this phone and I will let you guys know my views about its performance in its full review. I think that is how it should be. There is a 5000mAh battery inside, which is the biggest battery that nothing has put on their phones yet. And they suggest that this battery could help the phone last for up to two full days on a single charge. We will definitely have to put this claim to test in one of our upcoming videos. For charging, it supports 45W fast charging but as I mentioned earlier, you will have to buy that charger separately. If you keep on using your old phone's 10 or 18 watt charger, your charging speeds will be nowhere near to what nothing claims, so be aware of that. This phone 2A is running on Nothing OS 2.5 out of the box which is built on top of Android 14. The best thing about Nothing OS is that it has no ads or spam third-party pre-installed apps. It is so refreshing to set up an Android phone and have basically no third-party apps except for the ones which are absolutely necessary like the dialer, play store and such. While the OS seems pretty smooth and fluid for the most part, I did see a few frame drops and stutters when I was switching between multiple apps at a time. I am sure these are just early bugs and nothing will fix it with a software update. Other than that, I think the Nothing OS and its UI is pretty smooth. Coming to these big cameras at the back which are staring at us. The main camera over here gets the 50MP sensor with f1.9 aperture and optical image stabilization. The secondary one again gets a 50MP sensor with f2.2 aperture and an ultra wide angle lens. On paper, this looks like an impressive camera setup. Here are a few initial shots and I will let you guys be the judge of how they turned out. I will wait for the software update to hit my phone before I start taking my image and video samples for the dedicated camera review and I am going to reserve my judgement about these cameras until then. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and have the notifications turned on if you don't want to miss that video. This Nothing Phone 2A packs in all of the connectivity features that you might expect. It gets dual 5G and supports most of the 5G bands, gets Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3 and even NFC. So I think most of the people won't have any major complaints when it comes to connectivity features. Now I feel like nothing has definitely got a very unique looking phone and the price with the card offers make it feel like a decent smartphone to consider if you are looking for a sub 25,000 rupees phone. But personally, I don't feel like this is the best one in the market. First of all, it doesn't come with a charging brick or case in the box, which means you are going to have to buy those things separately. That will take the price up by another 1500 or 2000 rupees at the very least. And right now it is even difficult to get a good case for it. Even Nothing's own case is sold out all the time. If you are planning on using this phone without a case, I honestly don't know how well this transparent plastic bag will fare against scratches from everyday objects in your pocket. Hopefully this white one is a bit better at hiding those scratches. So those are my initial impressions and a few questions about this Nothing Phone 2A. Hopefully I am going to find the answer to those questions in the next few weeks and once I do, I will bring my full review for you guys. But before that, I am going to be making a dedicated camera review which is going to hit the channel very soon. If you don't want to miss that video, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you guys have any more questions about this phone or if you want me to cover any specific thing in its full review, please let me know in the comments. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for a lot more quality tech videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos from this channel. This has been Sagar and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.